coupons for kids clothes I mean I'm just I feel like I'm like throwing up uh, kids and mama stuff saturating my life it's also saturating your body <laughs> your body going on a house hunt Ooh. it's time for that magical mission to happen we're getting more and more serious we've been kind of taking a gander at different ones we've got a few picked out that we got to go look at today uh i just need like a good garage i just need like something to put my tackle in well, you also a little need more cave than that. you need a you need a big office well like i don't driveway. i just need somewhere where i can put like all the fish and freak stuff make a cool little you know i call it a bass cave a place to put the boat everything else is pretty much it's all on her you know we're gonna kitchen. Get you a good basket. That that tub, yeah. We need a good basket. <laughs> then come back to the house and uh, look at some of the stuff you guys sent in. All sorts of cool stuff. All sorts of magical artwork. And then we got a little announcement here uh, later on in the video. So hmm, stay tuned. Stick around. It's actually 2,800 square feet. Okay, first one we're gonna take a gander. Space for the boats over here. Boats. Say that plural. House to put your baby. I need a house to put my baby. Alrighty. Leaving the first stop. Not too bad. Thoughts. For, for, uh, for the first, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. The first home we've seen today is not too bad. I love the inside. I did too. It was cabiny. It had that feel. We've been searching for that, you know, that feeling. Like, come on in. Settle in. Make your nest here. Classy done. Baseball, deer heads, and old mechanical photography with guitar. I mean, it's, it was basically like, I, I pretty much lived there. <laughs> That's kind of what that felt like. Kitchen didn't have a pantry. Okay. Yeah, kitchen didn't have a pantry, which have OSG uh, kind of needs. A we'll deprive this girl of her pantry. Because <laughs> that means I don't get no more, I don't get none of them good traits. You get no cookies. Rolling to Casa Dos, really close to where I grew up. There's a lot of horses and stuff. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. I'm not gonna take you guys in there because I'm not sure about like MLS work. laws and all that stuff. I don't know. I just threw that term out like I knew what I was talking about. <laughs> no idea. Listings. Don't know. But <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep it on the, the legal side. Ooh. Let's get the wifey thoughts on wifey that one thoughts. right there. That one scares me a little. I mean, beautiful property and land, but the inside scares me a little bit. And I know in about three months, I'm gonna be out to here and I'm not gonna be helping that much, so. Yeah, you gotta think long term on that one. Well, I'll just tell you guys right now, I really like that one. It's gonna take a lot of work. Having some chickens, having some goats, having room for the boat, having multiple storage buildings in the back, and uh, just having a cool space to, to hang out in the outdoors and then, you know, make content in the backyard. There's even a creek back there. <sighs> Plus, it's close to the lake. This might be a good compromise. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Just leaving the last house. Had some kind of cool stuff going on. Yeah. Except that one of the toilets was just wide open in the bathroom. Me and OSG, we don't really roll like that. We like a little privacy. <laughs> it was uh, a little too... A little too open. A little too much marriage. Yeah, well, a little too, too much something going on there. And then... There's apparently a daycare mm. right next to the place. An in-home daycare. That's Screaming about kids. Twenty kids. Yeah, just outside. No! And they no! were already coming over to the fence. Oh like, yeah, coming oh, over. Oh, you know, wanting cookies, and <laughs> they're like little farm animals. So it was kind of cool until I saw that. I was like, mm, no, I kind of like to hear birds, <laughs> not screaming children. Even though we are in for that, but. We're just in for one, not 20 of them. Yeah. Just making it back from the house hunt. Also, just got a phone flare. Uh, we're gonna do some fishing in the morning. So that's gonna be the next fishing video for you guys, just FYI. And we also got some stuff that I wanted to show you. No, I think we're just gonna wing it. The time has come. House hunting is over. We really today. Did, we really got nothing accomplished today. No. Uh, thought we had a little something, but um, anyway. We will continue our search for more homes later, but it was kind of a dud day. Um, OSG is the expert on inventory and all the fishing freaks, uh, all the stuff that uh, sent in. So yeah. I need I need your assistance on some of the awesome well, stuff that's been Well, we can't do everything. So some of, the... some of the key stuff that we've opened recently, 
we had a giant we had to do a purging of the boxes <laughs> she did it while i was gone she's already sent out thank you letters uh, by the way if you guys don't know that uh when you guys send in stuff we usually will like we'll write thank yous and you know sign it and everything like that thanks to her mm -hmm. i'm, uh, I'm to totally that. disorganized but <laughs> okay so i want to start with my favorite okay this is my favorite so this is from erica ray <sighs> Amazing. Look how awesome that is. I feel like I want to get this framed. Absolutely. And this We're is like, these are my colors. These are my Ocean Spoon Girl ocean esque colors. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> It really is like that captures everything. We're we're a hundred percent gonna have to have a little uh, little bulldog shrine for real. You know. I mean, how awesome is that? And he's he's the showcase. So Erica Ray, thank you. So that is just incredible. That's I keep that over there by my desk now when I'm working. <laughs> I'm sure you, maybe you guys have seen it in a video or two. I'm not sure. Maybe maybe so. I gotta keep it back over there. Um, but right. I thought that was just absolutely stunning. Oh god, I can't even lift this. This thing, okay, first of all, I don't even have a logo <laughs> like like that, like for sale. I should probably I should probably do one. There's probably, probably some should. fishing freaks that would actually actually get that. But um, he it. took the time to go ahead and make the logo. Here, do it up here. This oh. will be way easier up. So this thing right here, who's who sent this in, babe? That is from John Schuler. John Schuler, I think he makes these uh, as a little side project. So he does, he sells them. Um, he probably has like an Insta page for these things. I wish I knew what they were called right now so I could tell tell everyone. John Schuler, though, thank you so much, man, for sending this thing in because this is a cool, useful tool. I think he said he uses this ice fishing. Uh, it's essentially a, a battery inside of this little ammo can. It kind of looks like a bomb. It kind of, well, let's not say that on YouTube because oh. now they just really hate guns. They probably are uh, coming for fishing next and we really don't need to say the B word. Okay. Um, we'll just call it a electrical contraption but it's got all sorts of little useful deals for the traveling fishermen um, it's got a cigarette lighter plug right there you can see the voltage on your battery you got two USB ports you can charge your devices it's got lights up front so Ooh. you know when you're uh, when you're in a kayak you could use this you could actually use it to um, fuel your depth finder but I'm probably gonna use it just to keep it in my truck you know, for when I gotta charge stuff, probably put it, throw it in the yak for charging other things. And thank you, John. Appreciate that very much. What else do we got here? Oh yes, got the a cool frame. Yeah, I got the cool frame. It's good. Like we've been just rocking it. We've been rocking it. You're a rock star, babe. Okay, I'm gonna move out. Love though. you. This is amazing. That is from Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, so we got two Jonathan Johns. Harris. Johns, just classic names, rocking the great stuff. This is really, really special because this is an actual flag of the United States of America. Uh, it was flown over hostile territory. Uh, in Kandahar, Kandahar, uh, um, that was a nightmarish place uh, during Operation Enduring Freedom. Operation Enduring Freedom. So, flown over Kandahar, which any of y'all that have studied uh, the wars over there, that's that was one of the worst places to be. And the rest of the bottom says, I don't deserve this, but I'm just going to read it to you. This is what it says. The United States flag is presented to my name. Uh, for your unwavering faith in our Lord Jesus Christ uh, and your maintaining a positive role model for the younger generation. So these qualities are not unnoticed. That's what it says. Thank you. Um, that's, that's one of the coolest things I, I've ever gotten as far as like making me feel like I'm, I've done something with my life. I make YouTube videos for a living about fishing mostly, but this right here, uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Jonathan, for that. Um, all of these things are going to be going up in the house when we eventually get it. Let me take that from you, babe, because I could see, I could see the the relief <laughs> is there. I'm starting to get a little hot. Oh, Pregnant lady. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You need a pad? <laughs> no. That stuff's amazing. There's so much stuff, but uh, we can't go through it all. So they're going to take up too much time. I just want to throw some of the names out there. All you guys that sit in this stuff and the really amazing baby stuff we've already started <laughs> this getting. This one is from Norma. Oh So my thank you, goodness. Norma. She did. The, I guess she does this for her grandbabies as well. And she thought that we needed one, which yes, we do. <laughs> Look how awesome that is. That is too cute. Um, Brian gave us a bunch of onesies. Him and his fam. I guess his family. Lake Fork Guy fan family. That's cute. It's awesome. That's cute. 
Pack we'll take the diapers. I'm going fishing with and, Daddy. Yep. You better believe it. All right. So are you going to take the kid on your boat? <sighs> the kid? The kid. Yeah. That you, small? Are you going to take baby on the boat? Yeah. Good. <laughs> you kidding me? I'm going <laughs> to put him in my tackle box right away. Aww. What okay. else we got? This we also is got probably going to be the last one. Really beautiful crosses. So there was no note in the letter or in the package, but it was from K.R. Zachary is what the uh, package said. Yeah, I assume they are hand engraved because they look like they're hand stained and everything. Oh, you mean like hand carved? Yeah. Yeah, they look awesome. They I, do. I, we've gotten so much stuff for our house that we don't have. <laughs> but when we get a house, it's going gonna, up. We're gonna be putting the stuff up there. Let's see that belly. Can we get a shot of it? <laughs> Can we get a profile shot? You want a profile shot? There it is right now. It's kind of the. It's kind of like that awkward stage it's right now. Like I don't know if I just ate a bunch of pasta, maybe I'm bloated, yeah. or if I'm maybe starting some belly. It's getting there though. Fifteen <laughs> weeks. Now one more thing before we get y'all out of here, because. It's past her bedtime and I've got to get up and, and go to a fork in the morning. Me and Flair are going fishing. Hmm. We did the Make Every Cast Count contest on the grams. Mm -hmm. and, and I got so many messages. Tons and tons and tons and tons. Strope would say billions and, and billions, billions and billions. <laughs> uh, there was a lot to go through. I actually ended up uh, meeting one of the fishing freaks that, that rode in. I It was so special I inquired about it a little bit more. And um, I just said, hey man, I'm going to... I'm going to pick you. Uh, so, uh, Elijah Barry, uh, you are the one. You are the chosen one. Woo! Yes. Uh, and I like the name. Elijah, great kid. Uh, I believe he's 14 years old. I got to meet his, uh, I got to meet his mom as well. But the reason, the thing that uh, struck me so much about him is um, he has a tumor as well. And... He brought me his uh, his brain scans, uh, his MRIs. You actually saw them? Yeah, some of you may have saw it in, in the vlog. So anyway, I ended up talking to him more after that. And I got to hear his whole story. Such a positive attitude. Uh, and I think he's a, I think he's a great representation of, uh, you know, a, a role model for, for other young, young guys. How could I not take it fishing? <laughs> I mean, how could I not? He, he, said his, he said his dream was to come fishing uh, with, with me. Absolutely glad to take you. Elijah, if you're watching right now, I'm sure you are. We're going to get together with you. Uh, we're going to fly y'all out, probably fly, fly you and your mom or your dad, whatever, what's, whatever's going on there. Uh, I know there was so many others uh, that wrote in. A lot of re really, really good stories as well. Yeah, there were a lot of really good ones. Uh, just heart-touching stories. Appreciate you guys um, sharing everything with us. I mean, honestly, that gives me inspiration, uh, gives me drive to be a better person. But uh, Elijah, you took the cake, so. Um, I liked being included in this because I liked reading them all. If it wasn't for you, I guarantee it, it would all get lost. <laughs> so thank you very much. You're welcome. Alrighty, that is it for today's video. We will continue our house hunt. At this point, Whatever. I think we'll take a shoebox. We will as build the TP if shoe necessary. Box comes the nursery. <laughs> we are going to sign it off for the night. Signing off for the night. That sounds like Ron Burgundy. <laughs> He's yeah. a little tired right now. Are you a little tired? Let me tell you guys something. She goes to bed at like 9:30 every I night. Do. She does. She's growing a baby. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for all the support, sending in the awesome stuff. Uh, we're, the P.O. box is psh, axed right now, but we will reopen it in the near future as soon as we get a house. Mm -hmm. God willing. God willing, we'll get in there soon. We love you. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. Make every cast count.